Since Kevin Harvick arrived at Stuart Haas Racing in 2014, Rodney Childers has been the ringmaster as crew chief on the number four car. Together, they've won a championship and become a force to be reckoned with every race weekend. It's hard to believe it's been seven years already, uh, but you know, when you're having fun, seven years goes by in a hurry, but to win, what, 35 races in seven years here has been pretty impressive. The most important part of a crew chief driver relationship is being able to communicate and be honest with each other. And as we've gone through those seven years, we've really understood that we both want to achieve the same thing and nobody's trying to hurt each other's feelings. And just having that open line of communication allows you to progress at a good pace. While Kevin and Rodney lead their team, they also have a key role in the wider organization, which is more integrated than ever across SHR's four race cars. Back in like 2014, it was a, a lot different dynamic around here. And you had this team over here and this team over here, and you just kind of did your own things. But it's not that way at all anymore. We all have great relationships. We're all on the same page all the time. And having Tony Gibson running production now, he constantly communicates with all of us. You know, we all maybe have a little bit different opinion on some things, but we always try to come to a conclusion on what's best for all of us. We all can't win each week. We all want to win each week. You know, the fours set a, a high bar. Rodney's kind of the leader of the group. If we all agree upon some, he's like, well, we need to go this direction. We all kind of go towards that direction. So I think we all use our strengths individually to be better as a whole. The biggest thing is his experience and, and his demeanor and, and the people and, and his expectations. He looks at everything in the finest detail. He makes sure that when the car's rolled out the building, that it's 100% right, it's detailed, it's exactly how he wants it. And I think over the years, they've built that database and what Kevin's looking for in the cars. And I think when you show up with, uh, during a pandemic and you have zero practice, that's what really sets them apart. When they can get to the track and they can win multiple times, back to back, diverse racetracks. It's just, you've had that notebook, you've had that database and you've just kind of refined it. Rodney, obviously veteran crew chief, been around a long time. I had the opportunity of working with him on the four car when we won the championship, so I learned a lot of things from him and kind of get the mentorship from him. I still go to him at times for advice on different things because he's got a lot more experience than I got and very easy to communicate with him because of our past relationship. Mike Bogarowitz is one of the few key members of Childers team who has moved on, promoted to crew chief in his own right for Arik Almirola. Both cars are in the playoffs this year as Childers continues to improve his team. Our key group has been the same since the day we got here. Yeah, Mike moved on to be a crew chief, but we were able to bring in Dax Geringer, an engineer that I worked with at MWR and super smart. And then you got Dale Fishline, my shop foreman, that he's outstanding. Doesn't accept anything but the best and expects everybody to work hard. And just a great group. You don't have to babysit any of them and, and that's what makes it nice.